What's going on guys, it's Brian with Superman's Comics in collaboration with comicbookinvest.com and in this video I'm gonna give you my weekly picks for new comic books that are coming out Wednesday, April 10th, 2019. A lot better week in my opinion this week than there was last week as far as comic books are concerned. A lot of great titles, a lot of great DC, a lot of great Marvel. I only have one indie pick this week, but I think it's a badass book. Brian Azzarello, phenomenal writer. I'm not gonna tell you too much now. In fact, let's head over to my computer and I'll show you all my picks. We kick this week off with Batman number 68. Batman is making his way to the end of his nightmares, and in this issue, he peers in on the bachelorette party that never was. There's a regular cover by Amanda Connor. There's also a regular priced variant by Francesco Mattina. Batman Who Laughs number four. Batman's on a desperate hunt through Gotham City, tracking down the dark version of himself known as the Grim Knight, but the serum Batman's been self-administering has started to transform his mind, making him into something much darker, much immoral, and something like the Batman who laughs, and he's starting to lose his grip on reality. We have a regular cover by Jock. There's also a regular priced variant by Carrie Andrews. Catwoman number 10, with the Creel family gone, there's a power vacuum left, and Catwoman finds herself in a unique position to become the top crook in Villa Hermosa. We have a regular cover by Joel Jones. There's also a regular priced variant by Art Germ. I'm picking up the Art Germ cover. Detective Comics number 1001. Arkham Knight has arrived in Gotham, and an entire round table of deadly allies joins him, and their first encounter will leave Batman shaken to his core. We have a regular Brad Walker cover. There's also a regular priced David Finch variant. I like the Finch variant. I'm going to pick that up. I also like this issue versus 1000. So many different titles and a large print one for Detective 1000. Might make this issue a little bit more sought after. You got the Grim Knight and a lower print run. So I'm picking up the David Finch for sure. Red Hood Outlaw number 33 with Jason Todd taking over Penguin's Iceberg Lounge. He also inherited a bunch of Penguin. He also inherited a bunch of Penguin's enemies. We have a regular cover by Cully Hamner. We also have a regular variant by Lucio Perillo. I love the Perillo cover on this. That's the one I'm going to be picking up. Scooby Apocalypse number 36. This is the final issue to the series. In it, Daphne, Shaggy, Velma, Scooby-Doo, and even Scrappy-Doo prepare for their final battle with the Nanite King. Will the resurrected Fred Jones be the key to humanity's redemption? Or it's Annihilation. Also, in the backup story of the Adam Ant epic, all the guest stars vote on who gets to join the Justice League. We have a regular cover by Patrick Olive. There's also a regular price variant by Mirka and Dolfo. Wonder Woman number 68. Wonder Woman and Giganto must stare down the largest titan that Olympus and the Earth have ever seen. But even if they defeat him, can Giganta ever be trusted to use her powers for good? And can Diana get through to her or do some big bads just get bigger and badder? We have a regular cover by Terry Dodson. And we have a regular priced variant by Carrie Andrews. <laughs> Fair Lady number one. This is a new series from Image Comic. After posing as a man to join the army, Jennifer Falls returns home to the Feld for a new start as a fair man, a specially licensed private investigator. But sexism didn't end on the battlefield, and as only the Fair Lady Jenner gets stuck with the cases nobody else wants, hitting the streets to solve the Feld's overlooked mysteries. Jenner finds that the smallest cases hide the biggest secrets. We have a regular Claudia Balboni cover. There's also a regular price Tula Latte variant. I love that Latte variant. That's the one I'm picking up. <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man number 19. This brings us to part three of the Hunted story arc. There's going to be three different covers for it. There's a regular Umberto Ramos cover. There's a regular price Connecting variant by Lionel Francis Yu. And a 1 in 25 Incentive variant. Avengers No Road Home number 9. On Euphoria, also known as The Wishing World, the Avengers come face to face with their own desires as Nyx finds the path to the ultimate power. We have a regular cover by Yasmin Putri. There's also a regular price connecting variant by Matteo Scalera. Captain Marvel number four. In this issue, Captain Marvel takes on Rogue. There's going to be a regular Amanda Connor cover. Tell you the truth, I'm kind of burned out on Captain Marvel right now. But 
There is also a regular price as Guardian variant by Gerald Peril for this. Love the art on that cover, so I'm going to pick that issue up. And if you pick up the variant, make sure you pay attention that white cover on the front, if there's a colored or black cover on the back of it, the way they're stacked when they're shipped and stored at the comic book store, there's bound to be some color rub, so make sure you keep an eye out for that. Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man number 5. A bomb drops on Peter's world when Aunt May finally fesses up to Peter about what's going on. I like this mostly for the cover. It's got a fantastic cover by Andrew C. Robinson, so I'll be picking that up. Marvel Tales Thanos number 1. Celebrating 80 years at Marvel. This is going to reprint Warlock number 10 from 1972, Silver Surfer number 45 from 1987, and Warlock and the Infinity Watch number 8. It's going to be a regular Jim Bartel cover. There's also an incentive virgin Jim Bartel cover. Savage Sword of Conan number four. In this issue, Conan descends into a hidden labyrinth protected by an undead army and does battle with the forces of Koga Thun. It's going to be a regular Alex Ross cover. There's also one in 25 incentive variant by Addy Granov. Symbiote Spider-Man number one. Set during the original Black Suit Saga, it's an all-new tale that pits the wall-crawling wonder against the most mystifying of menaces, Mysterio. This has eight different covers for it. There's a regular Grand Land cover, a regular price Ron Lim variant, a regular price Art Germ variant, a regular price Scotty Young Baby variant, a 1 in 25 incentive variant, a 1 in 50 incentive variant, incentive Todd McFarlane Hidden Gem variant, and an incentive Art Germ Virgin variant. War of the Realms Journey into Mystery number one. In this issue, Spider-Man, Hawkeye, Wonder Man, and Balder the Brave go on an epic quest to save Thor's baby sister. We have four different covers for this. There's a regular cover. There's a regular price connecting variant by Giuseppe Camincoli. A 1 in 25 Joe Quinones variant. A 1 in 50 Gerald Peril variant. Web of Venom, Cult of Carnage number 1. Evils rising on Earth, claiming one victim at a time and the name of the killer called Carnage. We have three different covers for this. There's a regular cover by Josh Kassara. There's a regular priced variant by Josh Kassara. There's also a 1 in 50 incentive variant by Gabriel Delato. I love that Delato variant. In fact, that's going to be my pick of the week. <laughs> Faithless number one. This comes from Boom Studios. Faith likes to dabble with magic. Her friends think it's cute and not just a little off-putting, but it's part of her charm and her warped search for purpose in a world that makes too much sense. But she's a true believer and knows there's a power within her reach. She's right, of course. It just took a while for that magic, that temptation, that unknowable thing to find her. In short, Faith is bored as hell and hell has noticed. We have three different covers for it. There's a regular Paul Pope cover. There's a regular priced Tulalote Erotica Polybag variant and a regular priced Lieber Mejo variant. I like all the covers. Really interested in reading this story, so I may try to pick them all up. So there it is, guys. Those are my picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, April 10th, 2019. Question of the day, what's your pick of the week? What one title out of everything that's coming out are you looking forward to picking up this week? Comment down below and let me know what you guys' thoughts. Also. Don't forget trying to purge some books. Wife is happy. I've gotten some, I've been doing some purging. But if you're looking to pick up some comic books, I just opened a comic book store online at simplemanscomics.com forward slash shop. So I'm constantly adding new books, trying to make room, trying to make the wifey happy. Be honored if you guys would check it out. If you enjoyed this video, click that thumbs up button for me. And if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing. Do a lot of comic book, pop culture related videos on this channel. That way you'll never miss a single one. This is Brian with Simple Man's Comics and collaboration with comicbookinvest.com. And I'll see you guys next week.